All right, it's time now to take a look at the morning papers. USA Today and Ethiopian. Oh, do you think he's he's such a nice guy? Oh, he's a great guy. Do you think he's nervous? <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't know. Ah, oh, my lord. No, I mean I don't know. I mean he he's he's a really talented, he's gifted so guy. So talented. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to do well. Yeah, but it'll be fun to watch. With us now, speaking of fun to watch, Arizona Republic heavy rains triggered massive flooding in Phoenix. Over years after LBJ launched this nation's war on poverty and Congressman Forward, that's his new. New book. Plus, the great Pat O'Brien is here and we'll get his take on our important Hollywood report. Oh, it's yes, important. Pat it's will chime important. in on that. Time now to take a look at the papers from our parade of papers. The Chicago Tribune, over 1,000. Uh, coming up next, President Obama is still calling it a phony scandal. That's just really too unfortunate uh, for words. But now members of Congress want to probe to get to the bottom of the IRS scandal. It is a scandal. And most Americans know it's a scandal. The president needs to stop defending the uh, indefensible. On that morning, Joe. Note, we'll be right, right ahead. Yeah. Come on. In so many ways, here with us now, KPMG Global Chairman John V. Meyer, LPGA Commissioner Mike Wan, CEO of PGA of America, Pete Bavakwa. That's right. An incredible you. story. I'm going to start with the announcement and go on down the line. John, first of all, what is this partnership? Let's announce it and talk about what it means overall in terms of this relationship. Well, we're really excited about this. Announcement. Maybe you want to kick that off. Okay, Mike, you sure. make the announcement. Well, this is a historic partnership that's happening between the PGA of America, the LPGA, and KPMG. And we're going to evolve huge in a lot of ways. Uh, one of the biggest venues we'll play in Westchester Country Club. Oh, how cool. One of the biggest purses we'll play for. One of the grandest uh, television platforms. NBC is our TV partner. It'll be broadcast in over 160 countries worldwide. And we'll rotate the venue year after year. So in women's golf, there's only five majors. Five times where really the whole world pays attention. And this one is not only going to create attention in terms of women's golf, but as, as John and Pete can tell you more about, this is going to create attention and opportunity for women outside the ropes as well. So Pete, for the PGA, huge opportunity. This partnership goes win-win and double win. Absolutely. Diversity into the game. Okay, so now, uh, if John, um, if you look at this partnership, where do you want it to go? Let's think five years down the line. Well, that's the exciting part of this, as you know, to really create and build and develop that next generation of women leaders. So we've got a summit built into the week of the tournament cool. on site at the tournament. We'll attract the leading business, political, sports uh, women and use that as a jumping off point to really create year round programming to mentor coach, skill develop, that next generation of up-and-coming women as well. Okay, so speaking of women, let's get to the one woman on this That's panel. Right. NBC and the Golf Channel, by the way, will be broadcasting the championship. The whole thing's exciting. And when you were growing up, given the challenges that you faced, mm -hmm. did you ever imagine you'd be here? And where would you like this to go? I was mentioning yeah. in the tease uh, that you were in a back brace for many years, mm -hmm. curvature of the spine, scoliosis, mm -hmm. and here you are, a champion on so many levels. Yeah, I mean, I think that's exciting. So wait, if I may just take a moment, I have 30 seconds. How <laughs> awesome is it, Nicole, to hear a woman say I'm one of the best players in the world without any <laughs> equivocation? <laughs> Cast partner for this in NBC, that's just going to be an added dimension of how we get this story out and how all three of us, along with Stacy and the rest of the uh, women's golf players, uh, really use this as a venue to showcase women, showcase the great things women are doing across a number of fields, certainly golf but off the golf course as well. It's just as important element here. Know your value. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you. Uh, John, Mike, Pete, and <laughs> Stacy. thank you all. All right, let's uh, figure that that's what we learned today and say that Chuck Todd uh, picks things up right now with the Daily Rundown straight ahead on MSNBC. Here with us now, CEO and founder of Carly Fiorina, enter of Merrill Lynch and former CEO of Smith. Not I'm you, a tad bit yeah. intimidated. <laughs> <Not> someone. <laughs> All right, perfect timing. Um, Power Group, uh, we're, we're, we've been talking this morning about the firing of Jill Abramson. Mm -hmm. You all know Jill? Yes. Um, what do you make of, I mean, there's an equal pay issue, which... Uh, you know, at some point we'll hear more about both sides don't seem to agree with each other. Ken Alotta has a piece in, uh, out saying that she had complained recently about equal pay. Whether or not that had anything to do with her firing, we won't debate here. Having said that, have any of you been in a situation where you felt like you were broaching a subject that could perhaps get you in trouble like equal pay? <laughs> Sally just started laughing hysterically. Yeah. <laughs> I th I when guess, have you not? <laughs> I, I, exactly right. I would guess all these to exist, as do gender biases. 
not necessarily that women still are treated as if you have a position of leadership and responsibility there are times when you must be tough to execute responsibly your position when uh, everyone talked about Steve Jobs leadership mm. he was mercurial wasn't yeah. he he was yes. powerful wasn't yeah. he he was a little strange well, wasn't he was he? a genius he was a little he... mean yeah. wasn't he uh -huh. yeah oh wait yeah. but he was a genius yes mm -hmm. I'm sorry I, I, I'm I'm confused well the thing that I found really um, sad nothing about her contribution nothing about her three years as managing editor nothing that's pretty cold and I don't think that um, others would necessarily have been treated that way. I, I, I think you might be right. And Stacy, we look at like where we all stand right now, and Vicki as well, right. because the more of us there are, um, the less of this becomes a problem. That's so exactly companies right. was fired because of raising the issue about equal pay, or if that was one of the issues, it's still their fault because the issue shouldn't be there. Companies need to do things proactively to prevent this problem, no? Well, I, I actually that occurred at the New York Times. Any of these jobs are really lonely jobs. I mean, they're tough, but it's lonely when you're in a league. Say that some of the things that describe the way I work is very tough, mm -hmm. very demanding. I guess some people use the word bitchy, <laughs> um, fierce, fiercely defending of those who are around me. Mm -hmm. um, Probably, Sally. I mean, is that is this going to be my downfall? Well, <laughs> I, I, I'd say you're doing pretty well, but you know, I, I do want to go back to something Vicky just said because I think we are appropriately focused. Men at the company yes. engaging yes, with the women. Yes, Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And this conversation will continue. Carly Fiorina, Vicky Ascara, Sally Krawcheck, Stacey Jones. And tomorrow, my uh, Know Your Value Women's Conference in Hartford, Connecticut, and say what their value is. We're going to teach women to do this. All women. Uh, Joe and Donnie will be celebrity judges in eye candy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? Still ahead. He's